kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up. You say you want to TSC. You have to TSC. And when you TSC, you can't erase it. Hey, Jody cooking, delicious cooking. Hi guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another fantastic recipe for you all. I'm gonna make Jamaican national dish. Yes, aki and sawfish. My God, may I tell you, my love aki and sawfish. You know, especially with some fried dumpling. Guys, mm -mm. this right here is gonna be so good. So I'm gonna start off with my fresh ingredients. Here I have some fresh thyme, just a small amount, okay? Scallion, one stalk, scotch bonnet pepper, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. Garlic, one cloves of garlic. Also I have one tomato that I cut. Half of onion that I cut also. Some bell peppers, and the bell peppers is optional. But guys, I love when my aki look colorful. Yes, I like when it look just pretty. So that's the reason why I'm adding it, but you don't have to. So as you can see, I have the green, the red, and the yellow. And this is just off, you know? I don't have the wall paper, just a little bit. And this is my haki. So guys, you know, I'm going to Jamaica, I live in England. So I'm going to use the haki from the can, yes. So what you have to do, you just, you know, drain off the water. And if you want, you can, you know, wash it a bit, okay? Aki sell in most of the Caribbean shop, even in um, the supermarket. They have them in the supermarket also, or even online. If you want, you can use more aki. Depend, you know, how many people is gonna eat it. This is my sawfish, codfish, that's been soaking in some water, but I'm gonna boil it, cause you know that sawfish is very, very salt. So most of the salt need to go. Them very thick, see there, yeah, perfect, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned. Add some water. Make sure you have enough water that cover the sawfish. And what you're gonna do, guys? You're gonna change the water at least three times, okay? Because as I said, sawfish is really salt and you want to get as much of the salt as possible, okay? Cover it up. So guys, my sawfish is all finished. I'm going to turn my stove off. Put a bubble, put a bubble. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all this water, okay? Yeah, and just allow the sawfish to cool. Yeah. So guys, what I did, I just soak my sawfish in some cold water. Or you can just allow it to cool. You don't have to soak it in no water. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, take one of these bread knife. And just, you know, remove this bit. You know, you don't need that, okay? That is some like some tiny bit of skill. And it's very soft, very mushy. So once you do that guys, what you want to do, you just want to pull it apart and just remove, you know, these bones. Because you don't want to eat the sawfish and you just have, you know, the bone in it. So try and remove as much as possible.
once you remove the bones guys you just want to take your time and just you know pull it apart try not to make it you know mashed out pull it apart like this So it is all finished, so I'm just going to put it to the side for now, okay? So guys, I'm just adding some olive oil to my pan. You can also use vegetable oil, and I add at least 4 tablespoons, okay? So guys, first thing I'm going to add is my onion. Just going to allow it to saute for at least... 20 seconds my garlic my tomato my sweet pepper my scotch bunny pepper just a small amount don't need too much my fresh thyme and I'm just gonna leave it guys for 20 seconds okay so now I'm gonna add my sawfish Guys, it look good already. I'm just loving the color. I'm just gonna allow the sawfish to saute for at least one minute, okay? Try not to turn up your stove too high. So guys, in this bowl right here, I've got half teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and I also have half teaspoon of my black pepper, okay? Just gonna mix it a bit. And just add some, don't add all of it. Yeah, leave back some. So guys this is the best part now I'm gonna add my aki you can always give it a wash just take your time because you know these aki from the can they are very soft just add all the remaining seasoning on top I'm just gonna take my time guys and fold it okay try not to do it so hard because otherwise your aki is gonna be too mushy so take your time okay and fold it in guys it look so good And guys, you can always taste it to your liking. If you need any salt, you can also add just a bit of salt. But try not to add too much salt because the sawfish already have a bit of salt in it. Okay? So I'm going to cover it up and just leave it for at least 5 minutes. Yeah. And a medium heat. Try not to turn up your stove too high. Okay? Stay tuned. Now I'm going to add my scallion. Okay?
so guys it is all finished and i'm telling you this recipe right here is a must try it is absolutely delicious and so flavorful me myself my husband we all enjoy it guys if you try this recipe comment below and tell me what it's like don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please go ahead and share this video to someone that you know will also enjoy it share it on your social media and whatsapp and facebook guys honestly i really really appreciate you guys support thank you guys so 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 much don't forget also to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already So guys, I serve my aki and sawfish with some fried dumpling roti. Yes, it's basically like fried dumpling, but I flat it down like roti. Guys, honestly, it is super, super delicious with it. If you want me to do a video and how I make it, you just comment below and tell me, okay? Yes. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye guys. Love you all.